Hello, this is Bob Hollis with the Mobius Network and a quick tutorial on changing images in DJ Image Slider on a Joomla website. Uh, so here in this case, we've got four DJ Image Slider modules all on the home page uh, showing different sets of images, uh, different categories, I should say. So here's a module. This is the second module showing us two different levels of sponsors. We've got speakers and cooperating organizations. So first I'm going to log in on the back end, which I've actually already done. And that would be done by typing the word administrator after your URL. So I haven't yet, but I'll log in here. OK, so first to manage modules, if you want to change the names or positions of them, you would go to Extensions, Module Manager. And inside Module Manager, you can use filters uh, to quickly get to what you're looking for, either by typing in a word that fits what you're looking for or uh, selecting from various options over here on the right. So one of the things I typically do first is just at least limit us to published, and that can reduce the number. And you can see that gives us a lot less to have to look at. And we can see here they come right out. Now, the other thing I can do is sort by position to look at everything over on the left, which was the left column out here. And then that obviously is the right. So that also makes things easier to find. And uh, so here is the module for the uh, Redwood slash Gold Silver sponsors. If we wanted to change the name of that module, the title it showed, you can click there, edit this to be anything you like, and save. And you'll see, too, that there are various options over here that control things, for example, uh, module size, uh, whether or not it comes from a component or a folder. And with a component, you can link each individual slide to its own destination as opposed to just one. So we're using a component. If we were using a folder, then we would set the folder here. And this is very important. This is the category that this component, is, this module is showing. So the module titled Redwood slash Gold slash Silver Sponsors is showing slides in that category. And you can see we do have other categories available. And so all we have to do is choose the category we want to show in any particular module. And of course, these are other settings you can take a look at and, and see what you like or don't like. So I'm not making any changes here right now, but that's where you would do it. Then you can hit Save to check your work and come back and look again, or Save and Close if you're pretty sure you're done in here. In this case, I'm just going to hit Close because I haven't made any changes. So that's how you can control the module. And then the images themselves are controlled through the, the component. So I'm going into Components, DJ Image Slider, and Slides. And here is where you can upload slides and then assign them to a category. So you can see the various categories that we've set up. Uh, categories can be created right here under Categories. And so uh, this we're actually not using. We've got two subcategories here we're using, and the speakers category and cooperating organizations category. So each of the modules on the front show any slide from that particular category that is assigned, that is uh, connected to that module. So to add a new photo, all you would do is uh, size the photo, make sure you name it properly, and by name it properly, I mean no uh, lowercase or no uppercase, uh, no numbers. Well, numbers are fine, actually. You basically want to make sure you, as close as possible, use all lowercase letters with uh, no spaces, no other characters, and don't ever start it with a capital letter. Uh, those types of things can make a difference. If you've ever seen a website where there's just a little X and it shows where there's a photo placeholder, it's typically because the photo isn't named properly, and so it doesn't render right on the website. And as an example of that, um, if we went into, and this is relevant also, in this case, uh, we've got two places where we're adding images here, and then we've also got a page for sponsors and partners here. 
and this page is simply an article with a table and images inserted into it. And so, for example, if I were going to go add an image to this article and or rearrange these to be uh, indicating the appropriate levels of sponsorship, then I would go back in and go to Content, Article Manager, and I'm going to the article on, let me see, we've got three pages of articles here. So I'm going to use the sponsors, or just sponsor as a filter. And you can see now it brought it up really quickly. Sponsors and partners is what we're looking for. And inside here, you can see that there's a WYSIWYG editor and a basic article manager. So I want more space to work here. So I'm going to grab the little corner of my screen window and just pull that down to open it up and give me more working space. And then slide, adjust my screen a little more and give myself some more space. And now I've got a little bit more room to work. And so if I wanted to insert an article or insert a photo, let's say here, I can put my cursor where I'd like that to be, go right up here to insert edit image, and then that will give me an option to either select an image that's already in Joomla Media Manager from a previous upload or to upload a new image. So if I want to upload an image that's already there, you can see what we've got. And uh, you'll notice there are no gaps or spaces in any of these names. So if I wanted um, OCSC 200 pics, I could choose that image. Up here, I set the height. And in this case, uh, for these, we're using 150 as a width. So I would resize this to 150 and set alignment to middle, just to center it in the cell. And then if we wanted to, we could change margins, but there's not really a need to in this case. And then simply insert. Now, if I wanted to link this to OCCS, or OCSC's website, then I would click again to highlight it. And I can either right click it and say insert edit link, or I can click up here on insert edit link. Either one does the same function. So I'll do insert edit link. And now it's just asking me the URL. So I always start it with an HTTP, very good practice to remember, HTTP instead of www. Um, so put your URL in. If it's an internal URL, uh, you can select from your menu items. So if we had something in our menu that we wanted to link to, we would just choose it from here. And then once we select that, it would populate this part, portion for us. If it were an outside URL, then you would just uh, type it in here, just like that. And if it's going off to another site, so it's a third-party link, then you want to change this target to open a new window. And that way we won't lose uh, visitors when they come to our site. They'll open in a new window. When they're finished there and they close it, they'll still be back at the site. And then for accessibility reasons and just uh, general user friendliness, it's good to put a little hover tool over here. So we might put US Zero Waste Business Council. Now, of course, that's not the appropriate text for this link. I'm just doing this as a demo, and then uh, we'll be deleting it. So I would click Open a New Window. Uh, set there for the title. There's no need for text because we've got a graphic instead of text. And then just click Insert. And now uh, before I go a little further though, I want to point out that you can choose from any menu item here, and you can, or you can choose from content and articles. So you can go into any category and choose anything that you'd like to do. So once I insert that now, now we've got a, a live link here linking to that. So I'm going to delete this again. It's not needed here, but that's how you would do it. And then when you're finished, you just hit save, come out and refresh your screen, reload, take a look at your work, make sure it's doing what you want it to do, uh, test your links, etc. And 
that's how you can uh, edit, update, or move around any items that are in an article uh, for sponsor graphics. That's it. If there are any questions, again, bob at themobiusnetwork.com.